हेलो डियर फ्रेंड्स आई एम अमित बेलेकर फ्रॉम टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स बाय ए एम बी वेलकम्स यू टू माय चैनल बिफोर मूविंग फर्दर इफ यू स्टिल डिडेंट सब्सक्राइब टू माय चैनल प्लीज क्लिक ऑन सब्सक्राइब बटन एंड क्लिक ऑन बेल आइकॉन टू गेट नोटिफिकेशंस ऑफ ऑल माय न्यू वीडियोस टुडे इन दिस प्रेजेंटेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट granules as solid dosage form after going through this video the learner will be able to define granules describe need of converting drugs into granules describe methods of preparation of granules describe effervescent granules and describe methods of preparation of effervescent granules already in one of my previous video solid dosage forms powder we had discussed that powders for internal administration are available in fine powder form and granules form today we are going to discuss granules in details so friends let's see what is granules dosage form granules are defined as a solid dosage form composed of dry aggregates or dry bunches or dry groups of powder particles that may contain one or more drug with or without other ingredients that is additives these are irregular or spherical shaped particles with size ranging from 4 to 12 sieve size so these granules are passed from sieve 4 to sieve 12 these may be swallowed as such or after dispersing in food or dissolving in water granules are frequently compacted into tablets or filled into capsules with or without additional ingredients now we will discuss which type of drugs are converted into granules the drugs having bitter nauseous and unpleasant taste or odor will be provided into granules mostly such drugs are converted into effervescent granules to mask their taste or odor drugs that cannot be given in liquid form because of their stability problem can also be given in the form of granules now let's discuss about packaging aspects of the granules the dried granules are supplied in sachets or jars as bulk form and in sachets as single dosage form granules containing potent medicaments should not be supplied as bulk sachet because of risk of wrong dosage by the patient because here patient is taking the dose from bulk dosage form so there are chances of changes in the doses and it may leads to toxicity of that drug okay now let's discuss about preparation of granules granules are prepared by two methods wet methods and dry methods paste or mass method and fluid bed methods are wet methods and use of roll compactor and slugging method are the dry methods let's discuss these methods one by one first of all we will discuss about pest or mass method it is one of the basic and widely used wet method in this method first drug and excipients are mixed and resulting powder mixture is then moistened with a granulating agent to form a duff mass or duff paste then this mass or paste is passed through a screen or sieve of desired mesh size 
to produce desired sized granules. The granules are placed on drying trays and are dried by air or under heat. The granules are periodically moved during drying to prevent adhesion into a large mass. Another type of wet method is fluid bed processing. Here a fluid bed processor is used for preparation of granules. In this method, drug and excipient powder mixture is placed in a conical piece of the equipment which is having perforated base. Then hot air is allowed to pass from bottom of conical piece so that all the powder get fluidized in the upper chamber. At the same time, a fine spray of granulating liquid is sprayed on the fluidized powder. Due to liquid, particles get bind to one another forming granules. Then granules are collected and dried. Now we will discuss one of the dry method that is using a roll compactor or roll press. Here we use two machines with roll compactor and granulator. Dry powder mixture is allowed to pass through a roll press. The roll press converts fine powder into dense sheets by forcing it through two rotating metal rods having smooth surface. Then these sheets are passed through a granulating machine or granulator. Granulator converts these dense sheets into granules of desired size. An alternative dry method is slugging method. In this method, two machines are used as compressing machine and granulator. Powder mixture is compressed in compressing machine under 8000 to 12000 lobes of pressure depending upon characteristics of the powder and is converted into large tablets which are also called as slugs. The slugs are generally flat faced and are about 2.5 cm or 1 inch in diameter. These slugs are then transferred into a granulator and granulated into granules of desired size. But dry method is having a disadvantage that dry methods result in formation of more fines. Fines means powder that not agglomerates into the granules. It happens as there is no involvement of granulating agent in dry methods. These fines are separated, collected and reprocessed to produce granules. Now we will discuss about effervescent granules. Then what is effervescence? Effervescence means bubbles in a liquid. Thus these granules produce bubbles when dispersed in water. But how effervescent granules are defined? Verbatim definition of effervescent granules is These are the solid dosage forms available as granules containing drug along with ingredients which when come in contact with water rapidly release carbon dioxide. These are dissolved or dispersed in water to initiate the effervescence and then ingested along with water. Effervescent granules are granules containing mixture of medicament along with sodium bicarbonate, citric acid and tartaric acid. When these granules are added to water, the acids and the base react to liberate carbon dioxide. When these granules are added to water, the acids that is citric acid and tartaric acid and the base that is sodium bicarbonate react 
with one another to liberate carbon dioxide resulting in the effervescence that is production of bubbles the resulting carbonated solution must undesirable test of any medicament but a question arise in mind why granules are used for this purpose why mixture of ingredients in the form of fine powder is not used to find out answer of these questions let's see what happen if fine powder mixture is used instead of granules if fine powders of these ingredients with medicament are used as such and added in water violent and uncontrolled effervescence can be produced this sudden and rapid effervescence may leads to overflow the glass and very little carbonated solution remains for the administration hence instead of fine powder granules are prepared which prevent sudden and rapid effervescence now another question arise that is why mixture of acids that is citric acid and tartaric acid is used why individual acids are not used for preparation of effervescent granules that is the question let's see what happen if individual acids are used when only tartaric acid is used as acid in the formation of effervescent granules the resulting granules readily lose their firmness and crumble if citric acid used alone it results in a sticky mixture which makes difficulty to form granules hence to avoid these problems and to prepare firm and non sticky granules instead of using sol acids mixture of tartaric acid and citric acid used during formulation of effervescent granules now let's discuss how these effervescent granules are prepared effervescent granules are prepared by two methods as follows first is dry method or it is also called as fusion method and second is wet method let's discuss these methods in detail first we will discuss dry or fusion method in both the methods difference is only in the incorporation of binding agent that is water molecule in the mixture in this method a molecule of water present in each molecule of citric acid that is c6h8 O seven dot H two O that water present in each molecule of citric acid and water molecule formed during chemical reaction acts as a binding agent for the powder mixture. First, citric acid crystals are powdered and then mixed with the other powders having same particle size to ensure uniformity of mixture. after mixing the powder mixture is placed in a suitable dish and heated at 34 degree celsius to 40 degree celsius during heating process powder is mixed with the help of spatula heat releases the water of crystallization from the citric acid it dissolves a portion of powder mixture and helps in chemical reaction to release some amount of carbon dioxide and water this makes mass of powder soft and spongy when it reaches to the proper consistency that is as that of bread dough it is removed and rubbed through a sieve to produce granules of the desired size a four number sieve produces large granules a eight number sieve prepares medium size granules and 10 number sieve prepares small granules the granules are dried at a temperature not exceeding 
54 degree Celsius and are immediately placed in tightly sealed containers. So that is the procedure for preparation of effervescent granules by dry or fusion method. But while preparing effervescent granules by dry method, some precautions should be taken. Let's see which precaution should be taken. The sieves and the mixing equipment used should be made up of stainless steel or other acid resistant material as citric acid and tartaric acid may lead to corrosion of various metals. The mixing of powders is performed as rapidly as possible and preferably in an environment of low humidity to avoid absorption of moisture and to avoid premature chemical reaction. If premature chemical reaction occurs, all the carbon dioxide gets evaporated during the formation only and such granules do not produce effervescence. Now let's discuss about wet method of preparation of effervescent granules. In this method, source of binding agent is not water of crystallization from the citric acid. Here, water present in alcohol as moistening agent act as binding agent. Here also, citric acid crystals are powdered first and then other powders are mixed with them. Then some quantity of alcohol is added to powder mixture. Alcohol forms pliable mass for granulation, which is then passed through sieve to form granules. Granules are dried in hot air oven not exceeding the temperature above 54 degrees Celsius. So this is the procedure for wet method. While preparing effervescent granules by wet method also, we have to take some precautions. Which are these precautions? Let's discuss. First, already we know that equipments used should be of stainless steel or acid resistant material. Second is all the powders used must be anhydrous. If hydrous powders are used as these already contains water of crystallization, these can rapidly react with the water present in alcohol and completion of reaction takes place. Such granules do not produce effervescence. And third precaution is that just enough liquid is added in portions to prepare a mass of proper consistency that is duff consistency. If more liquid is added, it also leads to completion of reaction and no effervescent granules are produced. Okay, now it's time to summarize today's session. First of all, we had discussed about what are granules. Granules are the solid dosage forms composed of bunches or groups or agglomerates of finely divided solids or mixture of finely divided solids meant for internal use. Then we had discussed that drugs having bitter, nauseous and unpleasant taste or odor and drugs having stability problem in liquid dosage form are converted into the granules. Then we had discussed packaging of granules. Granules are packed in sachets or jars. Further we discussed various methods of preparation of granules as wet methods and dry methods. Finally, we had discussed about effervescent granules in detail with its definition, formulation aspects and methods of preparation. Thank you for listening me patiently. If you like this presentation, please click on subscribe button and bell icon to get notifications of all my further new videos. Like it and share it to your dear ones. Drop your queries 
in the comment box or on my mail address which is given in the video. Thank you once again.